I do, my buckaroos, and how the heck are you? This is Tom the Fear Whisperer. Who else would I be? Oh, wow. So, uh, I, <laughs> I met the core location in Rogers. They were originally in Springdale, uh, but they've been putting their got spots everywhere now. They got this one here in Rogers, Springdale location. I think they've got a Fayetteville and a Little Rock location, if I remember right. So, I'm having one I hadn't had before. I've had a lot of their stuff. Most I like, some are, you know, uh, but, but that's like any brewery, isn't it? Some are great, some not so much. Uh, I was at their original brewery in Springdale about three years ago, and I really had a good time. I, I'll, I'll always remember that bartender, Jeffro. Jeffro was awesome. I don't know if Jeffro's still around or not, but Jeffro, you were cool. So I'm having an IPA, an Imperial IPA, called Invincible 9.0. Uh, 9%, they weren't sure of the IBUs. Uh, uh, but uh, although the appearance would make you think it's an Imperial Red, but they have an Imperial Red. This isn't it. They just called it an Imperial, but it does have the appearance of an Imperial Red. It do, do it not? Anyways. Aromas are very interesting. I'm certainly picking up some pine. I'm picking up some other things, too, that I haven't quite deciphered yet. I'm almost getting some light brown sugar-like notes on the nose. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that one got me off guard. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, wow, son of a biscuit. Um, it starts off smooth and mellow. It does not finish that way. <laughs> if you saw my reaction, let me see if I can get some notes here. I'm getting some big malt in the middle, so some toasted malt, a little bit of nuttiness, and I'm, I'm also getting those, uh, like I got on the nose, some, almost some, 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 some light brown sugar-like notes. Uh, a lot of beers I've picked up, dark brown sugar or molasses here, I'm getting more of a light brown sugar. But then the mass hoppage comes, man. Mass hoppage. This is mass hoppage, man. The mass hoppage comes and just wrecks you, brother. Oh, wow. A lot of pine, again, I'm going to say. They almost, you know, like a, almost like juniper-like notes coming at you. Uh, there's some citrus floating around in there. Uh, I'm getting some earthy notes as well. I don't know what all I'm getting, to be honest with you. I'm not going to blow smoke up your keister. <laughs> I don't have this beer to cipher. It's a big one. It is damn tasty, though. I tell you what. Um, actually, I didn't... Uh, uh, I was going to say something, and then I lost where I was going. This is the first beer of the day, too, man. Uh, yeah, he did know the IBUs. By the looks of the glass, I'm guessing it's probably a... Uh, Oh, you probably about a 10 ounce pour, which you know isn't unusual for double or imperial IPA. So uh, that's all I got to say at the moment. If I come up with anything else, I'll be back. If not, I won't be. I'm going to Beer Whisper. I'm running for Beer Whisper in Chief, and I approve this message. Well, how do you do, buckaroos? It's time to be whisper. How the heck are you? So, I've got one from Core. I'm visiting the Core location in Rogers today. They've got a few of them. I the original one uh, three weeks ago. Well, and I lost the cameraman, dropped the phone there. <laughs> Darn it, man. <laughs> I hate when that happens. It's at the original location, I don't know, back in 2013. Uh, and I haven't been to any other pubs since then. So I wanted to give it a shot. So I'm trying their pumpkin pie. I don't think it's too early to do pumpkins now. Yeah, we're in October. So 
nice malty uh, aroma. You do feel a little pumpkin. You certainly feel some pumpkin spice. I'm feeling some sweet notes in there as well. Oh, it's nice. Um, I don't know what they're going for here, and uh, they didn't know the IBUs on there. It, it, it almost feels basically like a brown ale base. With some pumpkin and pie spice added. It's not bad. Uh, it, it, is, it is subtle, though. It is more subtle. I had the flyway the other day. The flyway is more up front. This one is more subtle. But it has some creamy-like notes. It does, and they call it pumpkin pie and not a pumpkin ale. It does sort of have a pumpkin pie feel about it. And that's what makes it interesting. So there you go. I'm going to break my rule today and typically I don't do videos over a short amount of beer but I, I think for this particular beer I kind of got a handle on it. Uh, it it is nice it's put together well it's a nice malty base uh, there is just a hint of sweetness that gives way to that pumpkin pie spice uh, again I'm personally getting hints of allspice clove cinnamon but it is very subtle it's one of the more pumpkins that I've had in my lifetime um, but what's interesting is those those just, just those slightly sweet notes and then those those creamy like notes that almost mimic uh, mimic well you know pumpkin pie with whipped cream. So there you go. Hey, I'm trying to beer whisper. I'm visiting core. I hope you're having a good time. Uh, I'm running for beer whisper in chief, and I approve this message.